Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Sagittarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading Sagittarius. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading for you Sagittarius, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Ugh, I just had these cards just fly all over me. <laughs> if you have, let me know in the comments below which cards resonate and how they do Sagittarius because it's how I keep up with y'all through the comments Sagittarius, right? as well uh sagittarius uh if you enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe sagittarius i would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot sagittarius and i was am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to support my channel in that way um and then finally sagittarius i would like to say before when it comes to my weekly readings that you need to use your intuition you just put it in perspective i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you you know your situation better than i possibly could so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. I believe that when it comes to my weekly readings, they're just here to give you some food for thought, perspective for you to consider in your life, but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live, Sagittarius, not mine, not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, Sagittarius, let's just get into your weekly reading, uh, starting out with your objective cards for this week. So this is the energy that you're just going to be in uh, this week, Sagittarius, just through the everyday uh, occurrences of your life, right? So you guys have the two of swords with the nine of pentacles so a choice needs to be made <clears throat> sagittarius uh with this oh i keep anytime i start talk, talking a lot sagittarius um i just like i don't know what it is i just start retaining a bunch of air and so like that's what's been happening and i yell the, like, the last fire sign so it's like i just have a lot of air coming up honey i'm trying my best not to just belch on camera <laughs> um, anyways y'all didn't answer that I'm going on what's going on here choice needs to be made for what's best for you essentially sagittarius so we're going to talk about this two of swords first this two of swords is individual who um these two swords i like to kind of see this as a fork in the road uh, representing a choice. Do you make a choice that's matter of the mind, matter of the heart, right? Um, something that seems more logical or something that feels more passionate. But in this case, when it's attached, because usually I only pull one objective card, Sagittarius. So when you had two come out, I feel like it's kind of necessary to refine. It's the spirit's trying to refine the message, essentially Sagittarius, on like what it's about. Um, and the Nine of Pentacles is about... Um, kind of like that self-serving what feels good to them self that very extreme self-sufficient energy uh so going back to this two swords sagittarius what we have going on here is the situation of a choice needing to be made blindfold here so you probably haven't wanted to make this decision or it's like it's probably probably been in the back of your head sagittarius where it's just like you probably for a while have been trying your best to uh just get making trying to make you make both to both of something work right it seems like you're they're trying to have your cake and eating it too sort of thing and while we ideally would like to have that kind of situation for all things in our life right where it's like we can have that cake we should be able to eat it in this type of situation it feels almost like sagittarius like you guys are trying to juggle too much or you guys are trying to include too much and fit too many things into your path right Bring too many you're trying to like you know for example bring too many people along right into your ship and you just don't have enough room so you need to like make a choice right it's just like do you keep this or do you take this sort of thing and so at this point you know you kind of have to make the decision of what's best for you and i'm thinking back on your last week's reading sagittarius i kind of feel as if this is similar in the sense of where it's just like you kind of have to like there is like the sense that it has been following you Sagittarius and where it's just like you haven't been wanting to make a decision to potentially like upset somebody or other people um but because I know there's like somehow like a situation where it's like somehow in your life Sagittarius it was like associated with um doing what was like good for you what's best for you may not be what's best for somebody else and I kind of was saying like just because you're not you're not accessible 
as accessible to certain people anymore, Sagittarius, and that might be a bummer, doesn't necessarily make you like a bad person or anything like that. It just means that maybe at one point, like maybe before you were, you made yourself too available, right? Maybe before that you were always busy trying to give your energy too much to other people and they that just became expected. And so when you pull it back, naturally there's gonna be that shift, right? I know I'm going off into a tangent here, but if that was just like your situation, Sagittarius, where it's like you haven't wanted to make a decision that's best for you um, because of other people, you have to kind of just put it in perspective, put your take the personal out of it, right? And look at it as matter of factly and just be like, well, like <laughs> what's doing best for you really, I don't know. Obviously, it's going to be different for each, like, each of y'all's situations are so unique uh, to y'all. So it's, like, impossible to really give true advice. But I just, still just want to say, Sagittarius, like, I don't know. I just get the sense that you guys need to um, be okay with just doing what's right for you. We just got a bunch of clarifiers, honey, for this. So give me a moment while I set these cards up for you. So Sagittarius, the clarifiers that we have for your Two of Swords and your Nine of Pentacles coming in is the Seven of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Pent or Cups, Queen of Cups, the Judgment card? Yeah, the Judgment card. And then the Two of Wands. Did I say Two of Wands? Yeah, two of wands. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on Sagittarius. That's why, um, <laughs> so I can't really even see it until I like look back and you're like, oh yeah. Um, so let's break this down, Sagittarius. Give me a moment while I take in these cards to figure out, I guess this is the first puzzle piece that we're going to be addressing. Yeah, you're trying to handle and carry too much. This is the card, Sagittarius, I like to always say is the one where um, you're trying to make one car ride or one trip to the car to carry groceries. So you're carrying too many groceries and you end up having some slip. This is what's going on here. You're trying to carry too much. And so at this point, you're kind of having to communicate or just say such a tear. She's just like, hey, I like this is too much for me. You can't handle this, right? Too many things I'm trying to follow you into your path and you're kind of realizing this yourself. And so some type of action needs to be happening right? The judgment card. You have to make the tough call. You have to make the tough decision. Sagittarius into doing something, into kind of just stepping forward into like what would be best for you, right? Taking care of you and your own, taking care of your own mental health, your own emotional capacity, right? Just your own emotional health. Uh, Sagittarius, you kind of have to speak up for yourself, speak up and defend yourself, really. Um, two of Wands comes in, of, you know, similar again with this two, it's similar theme of the, I just hit my tripod, I'm sorry. <laughs> similar theme with that two of swords as well, where it's just like this constant like two. Like I do feel like there's just like a constant sense of um, choice needing to be, me, choice needing to be made. And it's just like you're trying to have, it's either this or that, right? It's either like, do you go down this way or do you go this way, right? You, there definitely is kind of like a split decision a split scent. So four pentacles really trying to f back of the deck. Uh, this is really trying to you figuring out like where it is you want to invest, invest your pentacles into next, right? What is the right decision? Uh, it's very interesting. So now that we have your objective card taken care of, let's get into your actual tarot spread for this week, Sagittarius. I pulled a past, present, and future card for each one, and then we'll be just pulling clarifiers for each one, just breaking it down, uh, Sagittarius. So we're going to be starting with your past card. This is the energy that you've been dealing with and probably are in the process of coming out of for this week, even. Uh, this is the Knight of Swords. So communication, uh, trying to go forward, but you know, when it comes to the Knight of Swords, Saji, the Knight of Swords, Sagittarius, is usually like an individual who's trying to go forward and they have like the root, like those spurts of like motivation. Um, but then something gets in their head and then they end up taking two steps back, even though they did four steps forward or like two, three steps forward, right? Um, but it is this sense of where it's like you're trying, like you're, there's like good intention here. 
Um, but then like something ends up getting in your head. So let's pull some clarifiers for this. See what's going on here that you're kind of having this tug of war with. That's what it's like. It's almost like you're going, you're having some type of like mental tug of war. <laughs> These cards I cannot handle with y'all's reading. Um, they keep on trying to fly out of my hand. Yeah, you're going through like some type of like mental tug of war with something. So looking at these clarifiers for your Knight of Swords, Sagittarius, we have the Page of Pentacles coming in for you, as well as the Ten of Swords, the Four of Wands, and then the Temperance card. So let's break this down. Something that... Huh. So this past situation... You know, you've been trying to like manage with it. You know, you've been trying to have forward progression with it, but it's kind of been like this push and tug. You've been extremely patient with it, I can tell. With this temperance card coming in, you've been extremely patient with this situation. Um, this is something that, uh, I feel like you've been pretty good at trying to understand their perspective. Like, it's like you have this understanding of why a situation is how it is. And it's like, because you can understand that perspective, it makes you, it's hard for you to transition from it, right? Ten of Swords comes in of where it's like, I do feel like this is something that you're kind of like clinging on to. It's almost like your comfort blanket or your security blanket almost is something that I'm just hearing. And so Page of Pentacles with this Four of Wands here, it's just almost like, yeah, uh, You've been patient with the situation and you're almost just like, let's just say like as an example, trying to bring someone along into your life, into the future. It's like you have this future planned out. You can see this four of wands, where it is that you need to go, right? What's set up good for you. And you're just trying to constantly bring something along be like, hey, like, hey, come on, just follow me. Just follow me over here, right? Just do this, right? If you just, just be normal, just be whatever, just, just follow me. And then it's like you're getting resistance in this way. And so with the Page of Pentacles coming in again, it's like one of those things of where it's like either you have the tough conversation and be like, hey, like you we need to go over here and you're making this harder, right? You need to do your part as well. Or you need to kind of make the decision, be like, hey, well, new moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. Um kind of have to be like if you're not going to be coming through this doorway you can't continue allowing this uh resistance to hold you back from going through this doorway because you see it open you acknowledge that this opportunity this situation is not always going to be there you acknowledge that you need to take action in a certain way or do something in a specific type of way and if you're getting resistance from those in your life that you're trying to bring along with you preventing you from doing that you kind of have to make the choice of what what's the next step, right? How are you going to handle this? Are you going to communicate with it so they continue being a part of your life? Or are you going to just transition on and move on from them? Be like, hey, you're, you're just going to continue going forward without them, right? So now let's look at your... Um, you know, let's look at your present card. We have the Three of Wands here. So you're seeing a sign. You're seeing, um, it's funny how all the signs, all the fire signs got Three of Wands in different decks following them. Every, all the fire signs are seeing signs or something. So, but as I was saying though, you're seeing signs, Sagittarius, um, this week, or you're getting a better idea, like what it is that you need to do. I'm saying it's so crazy how all the fire signs are getting such a similar message through different cards. Ugh, so crazy. Uh, so we have four clarifiers for you for your three of wands card this week, Sagittarius. So coming in for your clarifiers is the five of pentacles or five. I called this five pentacles the last time too. Five of wands, conflict. All the fire signs dealing with conflict this week. I don't know if all the fire signs are just friends with each other or what's going on, honey. Um, but conflict is happening. Three of wands. So um, I said three of wands. It's because I was like readjusting your card. <laughs> um, four of wands is following you. Judgment card. And then the King of Cups. So this is confirming to me, uh, Sagittarius, that it's like a lot of you guys are kind of like making the decision of what's best for you, right? Because it's like 
you're you continually see this four of wands you acknowledge that this is like the doorway that you need to just walk into you realize you need to take action on it right with this judgment card here there's like without question uh sagittarius you kind of have this idea where it's just like you you have a plan like you you have like a vision on something um sagittarius and it's just you you kind you kind of have this instinct of just like needing to go in a certain direction and I just get this sense, Sagittarius, that it's just like anything that's giving you resistance or making it harder for you to go in, in a certain direction that you have a gut and that you have a gut um, instinct about, Sagittarius, kind of feel like you need to make the choices that, like, <laughs> that are best for you, right? With with this King of Cups, with this conflict card, this is where it's kind of like a you'll have like it shows where it's just like in these conflicts you're the king of cups where it's just like you're just going to be doing what's best for you you're not going to feed energy into this you're not going to feed you're not going to um fight with them you're not going to argue you're just going to do you're going to you're going to just sit be quiet and be like you know what I'm not fighting with you in this situation if you don't want to continue if you don't want to go in this way that's fine you know no hard feelings but it seems to be like you're making the choice Sagittarius of um moving like still going into that four of wands with or without them you're and you know the four of wands is that 11 11 card it's that card of um it's a really good celebratory card it's a card usually of a uh, celebration and usually it's kind of like a wish granted right as well because it's the 11 11 card so it's like you have like a good vision on something that you think would really work out it's like you have this really good idea that's just like if people just like were to put energy into it or just do whatever um you would like work out good so now let's look at your future card sagittarius we have coming in for your future card the eight of swords coming in here so this eight of swords is the energy of where it's like what it's like you personally have been feeling stuck and trapped by right uh i'm stretching right now don't mind me saggy with this nine of swords coming in as well this is something that you've been having anxiety about um where it's like probably for a lot of you sagittarius you've been probably stressing out um about like just like your life purpose probably even perhaps um or just like your sense of direction and where it is that you're trying to go in life uh sagittarius uh you probably, this has been because the nine of swords is like that sleepless those sleepless nights since the nine of swords is like just anxious keeping you up at night just being like oh, what do i do in this situation right um so you're like really in your head you're really in your head about like, I don't, I hear about, like, your life plan, like, your life goals, right? <laughs> it's almost like some of you guys are having, like, a midlife crisis, uh, Sagittarius, and just, like, trying to accomplish so much in such a, in such a short time, or feeling like you need to do more with your life. Mm. So let's look at these clarifiers now. So the cards that I have for your Eight of Swords, Sagittarius, is the Knight of Wands coming in here, the Chariot card coming in, as well as the Death card coming in. So, hmm. I actually kind of want to pull another card here because for this Death, Ten of Swords. Interesting. So you have this card in Eight of Cups. And then Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. So, so Sagittarius, it seems to be what you're closing off, right? That's been having you feeling stuck or trapped in an environment. What's kind of like fed this energy of you feeling trapped, right? That you're putting a closure to. Um... Ten of Swords, something that's brought you pain before. I feel like this is like something that's been a consistent loop uh, that's been consistently like you willingly, not willingly, but it's just like you've like giving chances to something that's consistently brought you pain. Um, it's finally like Eight of Pentacles is that learning card. It's like you're learning to finally just like move on, transition from a situation, Eight of Cups. You're not doing it really happily, right but you're just like it's you have like a gut instinct you're being like ah oh, this sucks to like let this go and you've known that you've like probably had to let needed to let this go 
um, with this death card, but it's almost like this last thing that you've been clinging onto on trying to just have it maintain being relevant in your life, Sagittarius. And something that you've been continuing, continue, it's almost just, yeah, it's like the same thing that it's been like your security blanket, um, Sagittarius. You're finally, and you acknowledge that it's been your security blanket. You're finally acknowledging, it's like, okay, like, I guess I need to just finally stop this habit, right? I need to stop this one thing. Knight of Wands and the Chariot card. That's when you have your forward movement, right? So really it is focusing in Sagittarius on like, before you're able to continue having forward, more forward movement, you do need to release something that's been like this consistent knowing pain. Like, I feel like you're very self-aware of something that's just like not really conducive to your life at all. That you've been like, probably, dare I say, you probably even have experienced like consistent signs or uh, like red flags being like, yeah, like I need to let this go, right? Um, you kind of need to like no longer be choosing to turn a blind eye to it anymore. You're kind of have being forced to acknowledge it and to not only acknowledge it but address it, uh, Sagittarius. So, um, yeah, that's the reading that I have for you, Sagittarius. If you enjoyed this reading, uh, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Be sure to let me know in the comments below which card resonated with you. Um, and as well, Sagittarius, I do the weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, Sagittarius. So if you have a friend that's in the tarot, or even if they're not, darling, uh, I would love for you to send them my videos and maybe they'll find a bit message that resonates with them. But until next time, my beautiful Sagittarius, I love you so much. Bye.